Now, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and African Innovation Foundation have made a call for applicants for the 2013 <coughs> Innovation Prize for Africa. The prize honors and encourages innovative achievements that contribute toward the development of new products, increased efficiency, and cost savings in Africa. To tell us more about the competition is Jean-Claude Bastos. He's um, the founder of the African Innovation Foundation. Uh, Jean-Claude, thank you so much for joining us. Explain to us why was it necessary to uh, create a foundation to encourage innovation on the African continent? Well, first, I'm a businessman, so I do, since 20 years, finance, private equity, and venture capital. I am investing in the African continent, and I have seen the need for innovation. And um, the best vehicle for me was a foundation because I haven't, I didn't have financial ideas behind it, but more um, as a more a social idea behind it. So I created the foundation, and um, this this foundation has um, a goal. The goal of the foundation, we founded also the Innovation Prize for Africa. In this Innovation Prize for Africa, we wanted to create a platform for um, the young innovators, entrepreneurs who have ideas and have a, have a platform to call out to investors and say what they are able to do. Mm -hmm. Now tell us which sectors are you concentrating on? I mean is this a kind of free for all or are there particular sectors that your foundation zone in on? Uh, particularly if one takes um, you know, into account how constantly changing technology actually is which, which gives impetus to that kind of innovation you're seeking. No, we, are, we have focused so far some, some sectors, but basically we're open. The main idea behind it is finding sectors which are in vogue in Africa right now, so where we see growth, where we see that population can benefit. These sectors being agriculture, um, being IT, ITC, being um, all what has to do with industrialization, um, also the third sector, um, investment sector, banking sector, everything which in innovation um, has a place for it. Mm -hmm. Now, how would you describe innovation and, and, and how does it differ from sector to sector? Presumably, innovation in agriculture would be very different from, let's say, innovation in you know, banking. Um, what are we talking about? What are the elements that constitute, uh, in your foundation's mind, um, innovative thinking or out-of-the-box thinking for, for that matter? Well. Innovation means for me, as a, as, a, as a venture capitalist and private equity investors, um, that it's not only the creative side, but it's also the ability to bring it to the market. That means you have to do all the checks if the market wants such a product, and then you have to make all necessary steps to implement these products into the market. so that people accept that at the end of the day and the innovation which is the great idea shifts to the population. Mm -hmm. Now of course you were saying that you were a businessman yourself. In Africa for in particular one cannot understand markets only through private partners. One has to involve um, state actors, um, NGOs, other policy makers. How does your foundation interact with the various role players to try and maximize the kind of you know innovative thinking that is required for the continent? Well, we have teamed up together with uh, UN ECHA. Um, so we had to have a, a, a state or parastate body which help us to bring out the voice. Um, I believe that governance have a very important role to play each single state by supporting innovation, not only in university or research and development, but also to create some kind of financial platforms, venture capital, because the banks cannot do all the job. Because the banks are the risk profile of, of the venture capital side and of the banking side is not equal. So, so I believe that the banks should stay with low risk and the venture capital should stay with high risk. And um, this will, I believe, or I'm sure about it, will decrease the interest rates with the which the banks are charging. Mm -hmm. Now, you have called for entrance for the 2013 competition. Um, if if um, an entrepreneur is sitting in a place like Accra, for example, what would such a, a person have to put into their application to get your attention? 
First of all, he has to he has to file or to she. the or she he and she or she can be also a company can be a group of people to innovationpriceforafrica.org, and um, they have to show how innovative the idea is, and then how they think they can market it. Mm -hmm. And the prize money, it's quite sizable. Um, you know, you, how long has this competition run? Who's won the prize money? And, and quantify for us what is the, um, you know, the, the, the amount of money that is to be won here? Um, <clears throat> so the first year, um, or, or the prize has, has a timeline of five years. Mm -hmm. This five years for all, each year we invest $150,000. First, the winner wins a hundred thousand dollar, and the second gets a fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollar. That's quite a large sum of money. Um, how does it get paid out? And particularly, um, is there any kind of oversight that the foundation, um, no, you know, require in terms of is the money appropriately used? Does it get ploughed back into the idea? What kind of monitoring um, is there once you've handed the cash over? Um, there is no monitoring after it, so the prize is won for the idea which the candidate had and he wins for what he has done basically. Mm -hmm. um, the, the idea behind it is to create this platform to show that Africans also can have great ideas and then it sh has to be shown to investors, to the government, to other innovators that it is possible. So it's a kind of a, a platform to say the African dream is possible, make it happen. So we don't, for that, in that stage, not care what happens after it. It's a platform. There is other ideas for what is coming after it. And this, we are right now talking with the innovators because we don't want to force the innovators to do what we say. It's an innovation price for the winner and not because we can then take advantage of what we do after it. Jean-Claude, thank you so much. Good luck with your competition. I hope you get some really interesting um, you know, entrance. Thank you so much. That was Jean-Claude uh, Bastos. He's the founder of the African Innovation Foundation. He was discussing the Innovation Prize for Africa.